Hi everyone, I wanted to go through the answers for your graphing task. Uh, the first one that you would have graphed is the one where you're uh, graphing the number of Harry Potter pages that have been read. Uh, so your graph should look something like this, but I'm going to go through in a bit of detail how to allocate the marks for yourself. Um, the first couple things to check is, did you use a ruler? If you didn't use a ruler, you you have to take off at least one mark. Um, because you must use a ruler for all your graphs. And the second one is, did you create a, uh, a bar graph? Um, if, if not, you're going to have to take off at least one mark um, as well. So let's begin. When you're drawing a graph, chances are you're probably going to either start at your heading. So the, the heading is worth one mark. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as this, as long as it makes sense in the context of the graph. Just some kind of heading uh, for one mark. Next, you'll probably draw the axes. So here I've got my Y axis. Here is my X axis. On the X axis, I've labeled it as people. So that's worth one mark. And each of my people are evenly spaced within my graph, evenly spaced. Okay. And the only way to do that is to make sure you're using a ruler. On my Y axis here, I've got the number of pages read. Okay, so labeling the y-axis gives me one mark as well. And my y-axis is also evenly spaced out. So um, each space between the value is the same distance. Because I'm using a big whiteboard, I did mine at two centimeters. Um, but yours will be much smaller uh, when you're doing it on a piece of paper. I'm also going up by fives. Okay, so always the same even uh, value as you... Um, increase the values in, um, and go higher on the y-axis. Uh, you might have done yours in uh, in tens or twos or ones, uh, just as long as the spacing um, is even, is equal to each other, and as long as each incremental jump is also the same each time. Uh, then you can give yourself a mark there. The graph itself, um, so one mark for each bar, and in order to get the mark, you have to make sure that the top of the bar is meeting the correct y-axis point. And the only way to really achieve that is to use a ruler. Um, but you judge for yourself how accurately did you do your bars. Did you use a ruler to make sure you're going across just at the right location? Assuming you've done everything correctly, then uh, you can give yourself 10 marks. But do, do be critical of yourself just so that you can uh, learn how to draw a graph. So that's one mark for the heading, one mark for the x-axis label, one mark for the names, one mark uh, for the y-axis, even spacing, even values um, as you increase with the people, even spacing, um, the bars are the same width. Uh, and one mark for the y-axis label as well, and that should get you to 10.